What is this place? Greetings, beings of goodness and greatness, and welcome back to Last Echo. And when we left off, a third party arrived. We're sitting in retech, we've been caught by security guard. And now this. A dream? It sure feels like one. It's not, but feel free to think of it as one, if it helps you. What? It's my first time here as well, so I'm not exactly sure how this works either. At least, in this version of this place. You are... what... what is... where am I? I know you have a lot of questions, but the important thing right now is to listen. Do you remember hallucinating about Chloe dying? Yes. That was one of my memories. Sorry about that. This echo device protects from memory feedback but not when we're both very close. Your memories, memory feedback, what are you talking about? When two identical entities exist at the same time, they tend to want to merge, absorb each other. The first step of that is merging of memories. Am I supposed to be able to follow that? It's a side effect of time travel. What? You need to listen. I don't know how much time we have here. I know it's a lot to take in, but please try. Chloe died when I broke into the lab. I was desperate, and then I was given a chance to travel back in time. I took it. I went back in time and helped you, me, be more successful at breaking Chloe out. And now, you have to do the same. You will only have to do little things. If I, we, weren't in such a self-defeating state, one of us would be enough. But there is one thing you need to know. Dan. What? What is it? It's about Chloe. She... It's blocking me. It means it would affect your actions significantly if I told you. It didn't affect me. Why is it affecting you? What is blocking you? What is happening? How will I travel back in time? With this, the Echo device. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. It will get you back in time, and it will tell you what you have to do. Sort of. After you're done, you will have to convince your other self to do the same as I am doing now. Then, you will have successfully managed to overwrite the past. Wait, if I overwrite the past, what will happen to you? I will still exist, in a way. I am you, remember? I will be gone, but since I am the reason all of this is happening, an echo of me, you will be present, even if I'm not. I wonder if that's why they named it the Echo Device. The device will keep a record of everything I did, so I will still exist in the timeline, or at least, a record of me. Wait, will I get erased as well? Yes, although the future iteration of us, that will go beyond this loop, will be much more similar to you than it will be to me. Is that what you were trying to tell me, but couldn't? No. How do you know the cycle will stop? How do you know it won't keep iterating f forever? It will stop. It has to. If the exact same events take place twice in a row, then the loop will be stable. That is bound to happen eventually, like a division that results in a number with a periodic decimal. How do you know that it will happen like that? Because that's how it happens. I'm not sure about the science behind it, but accept it as axiom for now. We are running out of time. You can ask me one question. But only one, so make it count. Okay. Hmm. Only one. Hmm. How did you get to time travel? Surely that would provide more, like, we need to know how to travel. How did Chloe get kidnapped? Surely we'll find that out once we time travel. How'd you get to time travel? How'd you get to time travel in the first place? Who gave you the device? Sorry, I can't tell you that. Why? I'm sorry, you need to go now. 
Wait, I have more questions. Good luck. Okay. I guess it's just a loop. He kept giving himself the echo device. I can only assume. So I really traveled back in time. Who is this? Where am I? Chloe, I will not let you die. I will do whatever is necessary. It doesn't matter what. He sounds very determined. I could have done better. No. I should have done better. I need more determination. Is this me? It doesn't sound like me. I must never let myself get discouraged. First, I'll go home, order a chip removal kit, and send it to Tom. That hindrance will be gone. Also, hmm, I'll pay a visit to Richards. I'll convince him, no matter what. I'll blackmail him, if I have to. Hang on, Chloe. I'll save you, even if I have to rip time apart. Such determination. He can't be me. Or a version of you that has suffered. Chapter 3 Where am I? What is this place? Why is there a giant 3D floating Chapter 3? Okay, <laughs> did I really time travel? I'm not in the lab anymore, that's for sure. All my items are gone. I only have... Chloe's necklace. I have something else. I don't, don't really have it physically, but somehow I can access it. I think it's the Echo device. How do I activate this thing? Whoa. Okay. What? Is this... Is this the record from the Echo device? Is this what I have to do now? That's all the places where I've already been. Or I will be. Did he go and prepare these things for me? Is that why everything felt wrong? Why everything happened so easily? Focus, one step at a time. First, I have to find a way to get out of here. Then, I'll visit one of those places and see what I can do. There's a door behind me. There's nothing back there, just a wall. Okay, a, a door that looks like a... A wall that looks like a door. What about this? A stone, I'll take it. Well, obviously, we have to reverse time and uh, walk up the staircase that used to exist. Surely? Holes in the wall. A rusty metal bar. I'll take it. Oh, okay. So here I am thinking, yeah, we'll time travel, but we can just put this into the wall. And climb up. And here I was going off at Max Caulfield for uh, using time travel to... Gearing me. Rock. Let's bang it in further. I'll hit it with the rock to make it more stable. Ready. Okay, let's do it. Here I go. I hope it'll hold me. Aha, the map. Where to first? Maybe the informant? Why am I here again? Hmm. The sign is not working, but it was working before. What else did I do here? I wanted to leave a message to the informant, but I didn't have anything to write with. Hmm. The sign isn't working. It seems that this power box is the reason. I need to fix it. Otherwise, when I come here later, I'll never receive the informant's message. 
I might not even find the place. Tom did tell me under the red sign. The power box is locked, but I think I can break the lock. The dumpster, let's see. It has some cartons, but there's no pencil. Was this also his doing? The informant's door. Knock on the door. It was... I'm sure that's the right pattern, but there's no answer. Okay. Informant's door. Shout nickname. Motorco! Did you hear me? I think the door just unlocked. I'll go inside. <laughs> Where did you hear that? What? My nickname. That's the nickname I tell people to people that I'm romantically involved with. I haven't seen you before, so I really want to know where you heard that. Are you some sort of stalker? Romantically involved? Jensen? <laughs> I'm getting all the action. <clears throat> I asked a question and expect an answer, preferably before I lose my patience. Oh, crap. I'm a time traveller, because that always works. Can't tell you? I would have to kill you if I told you. Attempted humour, eh? This isn't funny to me. Where did you hear that? I can't tell you. What is your name? What do you want? I am Craig, Greg's twin brother. And who's Greg? Uh, right, he hasn't... <laughs> He'll come... S <laughs> he will come here soon, and he will ask for your help. Okay. I want you to help him. Why would I do that? I know things about you that might be interesting to other people. Oh, blackmail. I like it. So? So what? What do you know about me that you can blackmail me with? I, uh... It appears that I don't really know much about her. Doesn't matter. Listen. Soon my, bro my uh, brother will come here looking for his girlfriend. Right. Her name is Chloe Ryko. She is held in Retech Labs. Why don't you tell him yourself then? We uh, had a fight and we don't talk to each other. Right. Anyway, I'll come by again and we'll talk. Just get out of here before I get angry. Did that do it? <laughs> I said get out now. Okay, but are we good? Are you agreeing to help me? No. But leave now. I don't think there's anything I can do here. I hope it'll work out somehow. Okay, so we might have just done goofed that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this is the Echo device. And uh, we can see all the ir irregularities we have to fix to stabilize the loop. One of which we've just probably buggered. Let's use the rock, though, to break the lock and try and fix the power box. I broke the lock. I can open it now. Now I need to repair the power box. I have to make sure that the sign works. I'm an engineer. I should know how to do it. Although, I'm starting to regret skipping classes for Electrical Engineering 101. Ew. Okay. Sure. Hmm. Oh, wow. I can just... Let's see. It looks like there are some burned resistors. I must find replacements. And what's down here? There are some pieces of wire and some resistors here. I'll take what looks functional. What's that? The, the LED indicator isn't lit. The fuse must be blown. I'll take it out and try and replace it. Hmm. Let's see. I'll use the resistors I found to replace them. There is a resistor here that looks like it blew. It was 3K. Um, it was 3K OHM. I need to replace it with my own resistors. Oh, wow. Um, I assume that 3K OHM means 3,000 resistance. So let's see how that works out. That's it. Oh, there we go. I don't even know. That looks a bit stodgy, but... <laughs> That's it. The first resistor is ready. The second one reads 1.5K Ohm. It means 15,000 ohm. Okay. So, one. Two. Three. The second one is ready. One more to go. This one reads 1800. 
I don't think I'll be able to match it exactly, but a close enough value should do the trick. One, two, three, oh no. Yeah! <laughs> Ready, I've put, put back all the resistors. Uh, and then in here, there was a burned fuse here. I need something to replace it to get the sign working again. A wire, perhaps? I'll connect the wire to bypass the fuse. This is not safe, but it should work. Flick it on. It works! The sign is lit. Well, let's, let's go and... Uh, let's go and have a little look around. Why am I here? It was recorded in the Echo device. But what is it that I have to do? Do I have to convince Jensen? Now? Is that why he agreed to help so easily before? I mean later? Time travel is confusing. I shouldn't mention anything about the guns. I doubt he would talk in front of a customer. Can we talk in private? No. I, um, there's something I need to talk about in private. No. Tom sent me. If I call Tom now, will he confirm that? Damn. Tom knows nothing about this yet. Why is Jensen being so careful? Is that how he normally is? Well, um, I guess not. I just need to talk to you alone for a minute. Nope, sorry. I need to convince him somehow. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, let's go around and kick this guy out. He's really into his book. I should talk to him. He might be of help. Hello. Oh, hi. Can I ask a few questions? I don't see why not. Tell me about the bookstore. Sure. What do you need to know? Um, what do you think of Jensen? Oh, Mr. Jensen is the best. He doesn't talk to me much, but he looks like a very good man. What kind of books are sold? What kind of books are sold here? Oh, there are quite a few collections. The classics, the modern, and the comic collection. Which one do you want to know about? Oh, anything special? Have you ever seen Jensen sell anything special? What do you mean? Have you ever heard him say anything about hidden or special collections? Or even back rooms? Ah, oh, he uh, once talked with a customer about his special Super Spy collection. But that's an old comic series, also a bad one. Hmm, noticed anything weird about the shop? Have you noticed anything weird about the shop? Hmm, no, nothing weird. Although, yes. Sometimes he closes the shop very early for no apparent reason. And everything I've ever tried to buy isn't for sale. And most customers are a little shady. And that fake door is completely out of place. Hmm, I guess everywhere is like that. Yes, right. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye, see you later. <laughs> you naive, ignorant person. Greg, hi. Hello. I'd like a book. I'd like a book. Oh, yes, of course. Which one? Super Spy. The Super Spy. Hmm. <clears throat> what do you think of James Elroy's revolver in this series? A laser gun is better. A laser gun is much better. Hmm. <clears throat> yes, of course. But I'm out of copies right now. Maybe some other time. Damn it! I haven't read it yet. That's why I want to buy it. Hmm, I'm out of copies right now, maybe some other time. Son of a gun! I'd like a book! Oh, yes, of course, which one? Bookstore's guns! <laughs> There's a book thing. <laughs> yes, of course. And I'm certain you know it. <laughs> Flying undercover. Well done. Oh, I don't have it. <laughs> the Firepower magazine. We're pulling all of, like, the, the inconspicuous name stops. I need your help. Certainly. Really? Yes, yes of course. What kind of book are you looking for? I need your expertise in weapons and gadgets. I think you are confused, sir. No, I am not. Will I have to force you out, sir? Damn it! Obviously something we still need to know about. Hi there. Have you read any of the Super Spy series? Well, I'm not really into comics, but I can sort of see the appeal. Sure, the art is amazing and the uh, plots are intriguing. I mean to other people. Oh, I can't read that fast, dude. Brian? Yes? Focus. What? Oh. 
Did you want to ask something? What do you think of James Elroy's revolver? What? No, James Elroy would never carry a gun with him. He only carries his trusty knife, and you should see what he can do with it. One time he broke into KGB's headquarters. Thanks. I think I understand. Yes, but I really don't like talking about comics. Oh, I'm really sorry I keep asking you about them then. I'd like a book. I'd like a book. Oh yes, of course, which one? Super Spy. <laughs> the Super Spy. Hmm, what do you think of James Elroy's revolver in this series? He only carries a knife. But he only carries his trusty knife with him. Why didn't you tell me that you're a fan? I'll get rid of Brian and then we can talk Super Spy all we want. Hey Brian, time to go home. Oh no, Mr. Jensen, it's still so early. Brian, just get the hell out of here. Okay, Mr. Jensen, I'll come back in the afternoon. Sorry, Brian. So, what do you want? You went for a lot of trouble to get my attention. That was a half-decent attempt at information gathering. I guess I can give you a bit of my time. He seems serious all of a sudden. I need help. I want a gun, equipment, and you to join me in a mission. And why would I do that? I don't make deals with people I don't even know. I'll pay you, I'll expose you. Damn it! How much money does Greg have? I'll pay you? Well, that goes without saying. Were you planning on not paying? That's not enough for people I don't know. Uh, yes, of course. What do you want? What do you want then? Well, there is something. I'm listening. What is it going to be? I'm kind of curious. Do you know any good looking women? Aha, uh -huh. so we orchestrate the hookup between him and the informant. What? They have to look good, of course, but they also have to be adventurous and mysterious. Gee, I wonder. I really wonder. They also have to have a strong personality so that my line of work won't scare them away. You might not believe it, but being a bookstore owner drives women away. That's... wait, what? It's the books that drives them away? I'm joking, it's the guns. Most of the time, at least. Okay, so he's not that serious a person after all. Well, I'm going to break into a secure lab, and the one planning all this is a good-looking woman. I'm in then. Just like that? What do I owe you then? We'll see after I meet this woman. The price will change depending on how much I like her. Okay. I see. That sounded all kinds of wrong. Yes, it did. I'll come in a few days. Don't mention anything we've talked about here unless I mention Tom's nickname. I have to be pretty careful about security too. Oh, you know about his nickname? Yeah. Bear Man, right? No, actually it... <sighs> Tell me the story next time, alright? Okay then, it's a deal. Later then. I'm done here. Also done for the day. I don't think there's anything else I need to do today. I guess I'll go to... Bed. So did I achieve one of these things? Why did it get epic bookcase cinematic all of a sudden? Oh, I think we're just going home. Oh! Time travel, huh? <laughs> Somehow I always imagined it to be more glamorous and adventurous. <sighs> Which means I've spent time thinking about time travel. I remember reading a study that fantasizing about time travel is related to having feelings of regret. Does that mean I have regrets about things? I don't really regret anything all that much though. When did I start thinking about time travel? Hmm. I think as Greg sleeps, we'll end it here for this episode of Lost Echo. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. See you later.